a lot of the Hannah Montana fans, I think you've pretty much set a good name for you on the show because that's where you're pretty much memorable from as um, yeah. Brian Winters. How did you like playing that character? Yeah, oh, Brian Winters, you know, again, this stuff moves really, really fast. I had just, again, I had just moved out to, uh, to L.A. Again, I was, in, I was actually in the midst of going back and forth doing stuff, and I had an opportunity to audition for Hannah Montana, this character Brian Winters, and I went in and I met with the, ca the casting director, Howard Meltzer, who also was the original casting director for Shake It Up. And at the time, when I went in, um, it was one of those things where I got a call out of the blue, like, Miranda, can you go in and audition at 11 a.m.? And so, um, and I was shooting um, a, my first HGTV show called Get Out, Way Out at the same time, and I was shooting about an hour north of where the actual audition took place. So when I wrapped that show, um, I flew back down because the audition went well, and they said they wanted to see me for a producer session. So audition in the morning, shot my other show, ran back down as I'm running back down, I'm learning my lines the best that I can, and I go in and I do the producer thing, and I... And I played this exaggerated kind of version of Ryan Seacrest a little bit. And, um, and then they're like, hey, this is great. And they brought me into the other producer, and then I did it again. And then uh, the next morning I got the call that I got the gig, and then I walked in. And so that, that started this whole thing with Hannah Montana. And as time went on, um, because the character is sort of a red carpet type guy, uh, there, were, there would be times where I would be maybe booked for an episode, you know, many more than what I actually shot, but if they had the opportunity to perhaps get a bigger name or a celebrity, uh, Brian Winters would sort of be replaced, and uh, uh, one time I got, I think, I was booked, and then they released me, and they said, oh, we got Donnie on, <laughs> or uh, we got Nancy O'Dell, or something like that, so they do what's called stunt casting, and so they just sort of re, they rework the character to not necessarily be, like, be Brian Winters, but to be an, uh, a red carpet type a reporter, and so that's sort of how they, they did that, but it still kind of kept me alive and on the radar of Disney, and as I said, when the opportunity came in for Shake It Up, um, I guess kind of the stars aligned, and I was in the right place at the right time, Disney knew me, and uh, the rest is history. Absolutely, and you're lucky you got to be on the show before it ended. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it, 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 it was a, it's, a, it's a trip to be, to just to sort of see how this whole thing has played out with with Miley Cyrus being there, because I started at the end of the first season of Hannah Montana, and then I also did stuff on the second season and stuff, and, and now I'm on this other show, uh, Shake It Up, that, that we're, again, very blessed and lucky that we're doing very, very well, and uh, my point is that now we're seeing the, the, the sort of rise of, of Bella and uh, Zendaya, and so, you know, so far so good, they're not doing anything naughty, they're, they're, they're playing right, they're doing good, they're, they're good at ambassadors for kids all over the world. Um, and these girls really work their tails off, you know, not only are they acting and stuff, but they're, they're performing, they're dancing, they're doing appearances, they're, they're working the, their, their tails off, so um, I'm, just, I'm just along for the ride right now, I'm watching it all take off, and I'm very proud of them, and uh, they certainly deserve all their success they're getting. Absolutely, and again, a lot of people that they do compare you to Ryan Seacrest, which is definitely an honor. Um, I definitely think you've created a kind of a high standard yourself that people can live up to as well now, so which is great. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, you know, it's, it, it can be kind of a, a sort of a mixed blessing because I don't want to necessarily, I don't want to necessarily be pigeonholed as Ryan Seacrest. There are parts of me, maybe, um, when the red light goes on, that I can kind of, I bring a sense of enthusiasm to him. Maybe we share a similar haircut or a look to a certain degree. But there are many, many other uh, characters I, I could say that are inside my head and that I that I have played and I'm still looking forward to play playing. So. You know, I'll tell you what, Ryan Seacrest is doing pretty good right now. Um, I, there's certainly a lot I can learn from the guy, and I wouldn't say no if I had the opportunity to, to be a part of uh, his whole production crew. So you never know what the universe has planned for you. The big thing is you just got to keep showing up for life no matter what. Yes. And I think if you do that, you keep putting one foot in front of the other, things will pay off. Sometimes we don't necessarily know where we're supposed to go. Like I said, I never wanted to be a host. I never auditioned. I never took classes, you know, it just sort of happened, and it took me on this whole other journey, and I guess perhaps at the time, what it was doing was preparing me for the opportunities that are in my life now. So, I, you just never know, you know, sometimes um, there's just a, there's a higher calling, so again, keep showing up for life, believe in yourself, 
and uh, try to play nice in God's sandbox, I say. Right. Well said, well said. And we got to ask you another uh, fun fact of yours. you got to tell us about being in a band for 20 years. Oh, yeah, man. Well, I will say that you know, music in general is a huge part of my, um, where I get the most joy out of my life. And as a little boy, I think the first thing I ever really remember hearing was uh, Meet the Beatles. My father was a huge Beatles fan. And so I learned at a very, very, very young age just the, the simplicity of melody and how, how actually, you know, if you can write a simple song, they're not easier, uh, it's harder than it is to, to, to do. But, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't have to be all, these days it's all computerized, da 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 but, but it, it started my whole kind of curiosity with how to create music. And from there, I started off with pots and pans. And then um, somewhere along the lines of being seventh grade, I got a, a snare drum. I started hammering away on that. And then around 15 or so, I got um, my first drum set, I think it was. Or, or, yeah, maybe it was no, I thought it was earlier than that, actually. But my love of just drums and percussion began. And I started teaching myself how to play. And then as time went on, um, other friends got instruments. And we started playing some of our... Uh, covers of, of songs that we love by our favorite artists. And then I thought, well, why don't we start writing original songs, you know? And then from there, you start playing out, and you start doing little concerts here and there, and then you go to a studio, and you maybe record a demo, and, and then not, not long after that, it was pretty much like I took the same kind of drive that I wanted for, uh, you know, it, it just my desire to entertain, if you will, that I have now in my acting and hosting stuff, I had that same fire. And I practiced every single day. The very first day I got my drums and I played for nine hours straight. I just kept playing and playing and playing. I was so jazzed. And that was really kind of what I thought I was going to be. I really thought I was going to be a professional uh, musician. And um, I went on to record many, many records, and I toured all over the United States with my bands, and I managed the band, I booked the band, I did PR for the band, like, I was very driven. And, um, and I got to do some amazing things. And so, the thing now is that because the acting and the hosting has taken really such a precedent in my life, I'm not able to pursue it the way I once did. But I do like to play every so often, and I do have... Uh, you know, uh, I've got my drum set out here in Los Angeles, but a lot of times I'll just go into a studio during some time and, and play that way. Um, but uh, music has always been kind of my brother and my sister because I'm an only child. And when I was younger, I, I would just sort of go to that. It, it fed all my emotions, and um, and it's always it's always been there for me. It'll never run away, and it's a it's a great it's a great escape, I think, too, as well. Um, yeah, I just uh, I just love music. It's a, it's a language un language unto itself, and everybody understands it no matter where you go in the world. So very true, and it does show that dedication does take you very far. Yeah, it does. And then it certainly does. Would we ever get to see you perform on Shake It Up? Maybe. Nah, I know, right? That's been the big question. You know, will I will I dance? Will I play the drums? I don't know. You know, I think we'll leave it to the to the kids right now and all the amazing dance crews. That's what we want to put the focus on. Uh, early on last year, we did a New Year's Eve thing. I did a little dance off with Rashawn Sagan. Yes, I think he served me on that one, unfortunately. But uh, you know, I got with him. You know, I'm a drummer, so uh, if you turn on the right music, you never you'd be surprised what kind of moves I can come up with. Uh, so you know, yeah, you never know. We still got episodes left in season two, so maybe Gary Gary Wild will get his own spotlight dance. Right? Yeah, that would be so neat. And <laughs> can you tell us about Twitter? How you like using it? Uh, yeah, yeah, Twitter's, uh, Twitter's a trip, man. Um, you know, again, it's another it's another way to to talk with your fans and stuff like that. And and uh, you know, I've also had the opportunity to um, it's it's a, yet another so, another part of social media that I've been able to keep in contact with my fans as, as, as opposed to doing the Facebook thing. Um, you know, Twitter is a, is a, it's quick, it's concise, you get right to the point. Sometimes uh, you can spend a lot of time on Facebook and, and uh, it seems to me that the majority of the audience that I'm dealing with as far as Shake It Up goes, you know, is, is more of a younger audience and so Twitter seems to be a great way to communicate with them and um, I, I call, with, I, I sort of have a trend thing going called the Wild Bunch and that's what I, I call all my little Gary Wild fans and I've got a little page actually on our Brandon Johnson, which is uh, my Facebook fan page. And, you know, so if you request um, 
pictures or anything, autograph stuff, uh, I'll sign it. And if you take a picture and upload it, I, I put you in a little photo album called The Wild Bunch as well. And you can, you can uh, tweet that or show your friends and stuff like that. I try to always give back to my friends. It's, it's, uh, it's really neat. It's very special. So uh, go social media. I'll tell you what, you know, I wasn't there 10 years ago, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, this stuff, I can talk to people, like I said, in China if I want. It's Hong Kong. It's, it's amazing. You know, like, people are like, if Facebook goes away, what am I going to do? And, you know, well, what did you do before there was Facebook? It's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that we can try to get back to being a little more um, connected instead of hiding away from all these, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to all this technology that we have right now. Um, we're trying to make it a little bit more user-friendly with regards to FaceTime on your iPhone or Skyping or things like that. I think those things are great. Um, but um, I don't want to hide behind my computer all the time, you know? And so hopefully we can get back to a little bit how we used to do it, just get together for a cup of coffee or, or whatever, a glass of juice, I don't know. Well said, well said. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I definitely like how you have a wild bunch of followers on there. I'd like a name like that for our Twitter users. That's so neat. Yeah, you never know. You, yeah, you know, put it out. Ask, ask your, your Twitter followers to see if they can come up with a, a fun name for you guys to try. Right. Did you come up with that, or did it come up with the fans, or had that come about? You no, know, I just started doing it. Um, I just started calling them a wild bunch, and I just kind of squeezed it all together. I play off um, my character last name of W-L-I-D-E as opposed to W-I-L-D and uh, I just squeezed it together and made a wild bunch and I wanted a way to sort of, you know, kind of grab my, my friends, my friends and fans and uh, and that's the title I chose and so far so good, it's stuck. Well, very nice. Everyone will have to make sure to stay tuned with you on Shake It Up and then is there anything else coming up? Any new projects? I think the biggest project right now is just really uh, stepping into season two of My Yard Goes Disney, and I think that should probably, I hope the first couple episodes should start going maybe in May of 2012. Um, we don't have certainly the, the air dates or the times yet, but uh, again, I just encourage everybody to go to hgtv.com slash Disney, and that'll give you all the updates. And certainly follow me on Twitter or follow me on Facebook, and uh, you'll see all the updates there as well. And I'm also in the process of creating a website, which will probably be called officialbrandonjohnson.com. Uh, we're still in the process of creating it all, but um, that'll be another great source to kind of keep everybody in the loop. Uh, as of right now, we're just in the midst of season two. Hopefully, we'll, uh, I'm pretty sure, fingers crossed, that we'll have to shake it up. And um, I've even heard rumors about maybe doing a shake it up uh, movie, and that would be really exciting. But I um, can't say that's for sure yet. Um, but again, lots of things happening in 2012, and, and as they do, I'll certainly report them on all those social media outlets.